Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, oh shit, my controller died again. Fuck! Oh, that's bullshit. I hate when it does that. It fakes you out when you first turn it on. I've had it for a while, though, and this is the controller that I played through X4 and X5 with, so it did get royally fucked over. Um, well, I have to admit, um, up front, it has taken me two days... <laughs> It's taking me. It's gonna take me a combined two days, and it could have taken me like a fucking night to record all this. And that's the people who are used to me updating once a week are really gonna hate Mass Effect Two. Uh, that in Star Trek Online, um, but yeah, really Mass Effect Two, which is awesome. Uh, that's if you're wondering why I'm late in updating. Mass Effect 2. I'm going to try to record, render, and upload this all in one night. Um, while playing Mass Effect 2 also. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to try and get this in on time because I'm not recording shit tomorrow. I'm not uploading shit tomorrow. Because tomorrow is the first day of the head start of Star Trek Online. And I have a lot of work to do to get back to where I was uh, at the end of the open beta. Um, and get back to my beloved ship. Where my beloved ship was and my beloved crew. Um, because they... Everything... My tune got fucking reset to zero at the end of the open beta. Everybody's did. And um, so all the shit that I got, I have to go get again. Luckily for me, though, I happen to have fraps, which means that I could... Um, I went through all the customization settings for all of my crew and just, you know, hit, um, what do I have it set at? F6 is my screenshot key, and I just hit F6 and saved all those settings so I can make the exact same crew over again, and the exact same ship, so I'm golden. Everything that I have lost in the game can be retrieved. Um, now, I've been scratching my head over this. And, uh, but something about it seemed familiar, so I went back to my notebook. I have, you guys know that I like to write down shit, like codes or whatever, that I find in games for doors or what have you, or things that I generally don't want to have to run through the game looking for again. But, and something about this, something about this was really familiar. So, I looked around, I have like a ton of shit lying around, you know. Uh, I wrote it, wrote it, writ it. Uh, in a notebook somewhere. Uh, a notebook with a lot of the solutions to a lot of shit in Code Veronica, I found out. Um, and, oh, that was painful. That was painful to see. Um, painful to say, too. Ow! Um, but, I have found what I need to do to get this key. And I'm sorry that I'm not going to be, you know, uh, just running around all confused and screaming at the game. That's what I did last time. But I just want to show you how utterly absurd this is. This thing that you have to go after. Okay. You got to go back in here. Okay, nothing in here. Now, I searched this thing, right? A giant refrigerator. There's something on the door. This might be useful. Remember what I said about Resident Evil bullshit puzzles and weird items like that game? She'll just steal it. Let me... Let me let me get back there first. It, it, it's absurd. It's like I said, the game suffers from the same bullshit Resident Evil style um, puzzles as well Resident Evil. I'm running out of items too. I really should use that thing because I'm about to go. Um, if I remember correctly, I'm about to be able to go shopping for the first time since I've arrived in Dryfield. And when a game involves shopping for shotguns, you generally want the inventory space. Let's see, 9mm Parabellum, switch. Um, get rid of the MP boost. 
Get rid of the penicillin. Reboost. Combat light. Charge HP and MP. Probably gonna want to keep that. Move the buckshot because I don't have a shotgun yet. Um. GPS. Want that. Recovery two. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, combat light. Get rid of that shit. There we go. Okay, now I've got some slots open. Um, there's a phone. I will save to a new slot. Kyle, a private investigator from L.A., you say? Could be an alias. I'll someone run a search. More importantly, I'm interested in that shelter. Continue with the NMC removal. And find out anything you can about that shelter. Check the card. Oh. Well... I'm pretty sure I won't be going back to the fucking start of this game. So let's go all the way to the top and overwrite that shit. If I do have to go back to the start of this game, I will be pissed off. Alright. So now I have... Let me show you guys. Key item. It's a key item. It's an item of plot importance. It's a Coca-Cola magnet. A promotional item in the shape of a cola bottle cap. There's a magnet on the back. I love how it's calling it a cola bottle cap, but the Coca-Cola name is blatantly displayed on the top of it. I mean, seriously. This is an item of plot importance. You cannot advance in the game without collecting this item. Holy shit. A magnetic bottle cap with the Coca-Cola lo logo on top of it. Alright. Item. What you gotta do is you gotta use the magnet to uh, bring the key over here. Somehow. Move, damn it. Fuck. Fuck knows how. Did you grab, grab it by the bottom? Oh, I can't. I have to grab it by this. Oh, I can't. You know, why can't I just, like, magnet it off? Ugh. Get out! Get out! Get out of there! No! Fuck. Examine item. Bottle cap. Alright. Yes! Take that shit. Alright. I apologize for my comments about the pirate and the peg leg sound if they sounded a bit insensitive, but that's kind of Are you fucking serious? I had to I had to get the magnet to come here to somewhere I had already been. Are you fucking serious? Okay, fuck you, whatever. Ugh. 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 Oh, you again. Oh, no, no. Where's the... Where's the 5.56 ammo I put on the vest? I have shitloads of it. What? 